Hi everyone, this is Carolina and welcome to my second seasonal Saturday for 2010. Today I'm going to be showing you an altered CD that I covered um, with designer paper, added a photo of my niece, some silk ribbon, but really you can use any ribbon you'd like. I added this pretty silk ribbon to it, a uh, silk ribbon to hang the date when it was taken. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. You'll need a CD. Remember when AOL used to send these out? I actually kept them. I used them for my paints, but I also like to alter them, so I kept it. But you can pretty much buy packs pretty relatively cheap. You'll need a brayer, which we will use to sm smooth out the uh, pattern paper. Some um, circles I cut out from pattern paper I wanted to use, and I'll give you the measurements below, and then a photo of your child. I'm using my niece's photo for this and I'll be showing you the end a photo a different city I did for my nephew. Um, so I'm using Tombow adhesive. I like the blue one a little bit better for 3D items. It tends to be a little bit more liquidy and therefore a little bit more forgiving when I need to move things around. Putting it down a piece of scrap paper um, oh, let me show you the glue. comes in two tips, the thinner tip and the thicker tip. I'm using the thicker tip because I'm going to be covering quite a good amount of surface. But I just put down that protective paper so you don't get anything else dirty. It's just a good idea when you use some liquid adhesive. Be quite generous with it. Make sure not to leave lumps anywhere because then it'll, go, it'll show through on your paper. So I'm just kind of, I stopped squeezing about, went about halfway through and then just smoothing it out at this point. Take one of your circles. Put it on top as such. I kind of just like to eyeball it here and then I turn it over to make sure I'm, I have it completely centered. And so I'm going to show you right here. Just kind of make sure when you know you have a kind of equal amount all the way around. And luckily since I had put the scrap piece I can just go ahead and fold it and use the other side so I don't get glue on my good part of the pattern paper already glued down. And then just add some more adhesive to the side again making sure you're generous by not leaving any lumps it will show and it will bleed and sometimes it even tears your paper which is not fun at all and then just go ahead and put the other piece and down again lifting it to make sure I have that same amount of um, pattern paper all the way around and this is where your brayer comes in as you're seeing me do here just kind of turn your CD around and just keep brayering you can even turn it over and do it on the other side just, this just ensures that you have a good, nice stick on both sides and your paper's not going to come off or lift off. And especially since it's going on a tree, you know, people want to pick it up, touch it. and You know how it goes with 3D items. Anyways, so the next step is the photo. I went ahead before and cut out the picture. I didn't put any kind of border around it. just think it's kind of cute to see their little faces. And went ahead and trimmed it. You can even put a little bit of temporary adhesive if you don't want to just hold it. It's what um, That's actually what I did. And now I'm going to use the liquid adhesive again. I suggest at this point you grab yourself um, some kind of photo cleaner. I actually use what comes with my glasses, a little cloth, and it works great. Just in case you happen to either leave fingerprints in your photo or... Um, oops, let me grab that. It's actually a good idea to have this underneath. Um, or even... Um, maybe a little bit of the glue is on there so you get it completely off the photo so make sure to have that handy i'm going to go ahead and place my photo the cd get this out of the way so bring and then what i did since i went ahead and cut it according to the bottom i just kind of aligned it and i'm sorry this is a little bit out of the camera but i'm aligning it to the bottom of her little shoulders which is where i started it and it, i'm going to turn it over because i don't want to prayer over the photo this is a good idea. Got a clean piece of paper, not on the same one that I used glue on, and just kind of, again, turning my CD and making sure it sticks. So there's a little bit of glue I accidentally got and a couple of fingerprints, and that's why I said it's good to have that cloth. So just go ahead and clean it off. It comes right off. So I'm doing here, and this is a cutie pie. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the hanger part of the ornaments. You'll need your crop -a dial a jumbo eyelet. If you don't have a jumbo eyelet, it's okay. You can still do the project. It's just kind of a nice way to finish it. Two strips of ribbon. I used about 18 inches for my bow and about nine inches for the hanger. You don't have to be exact with that. It's just whatever um, width and length you want to have it really. Now a little bit tricky item. Um, I want to go ahead and use the bigger of the two settings since I am using a jumbo eyelet. 
a little bit tricky with eyelids and trying to set them through thicker material. Unlike paper, you're able to kind of squeeze it in with just punching one hole. Not so much with the with harder materials such as what cities are made out of. And to be honest with you, I, I want to say plastic, but I don't know. What will happen is not only will you have to be cleaning out your um, crocodile more than once, but you'll have to punch more than one hole. What I do is punch my original hole, go a little bit down or go a little bit to the side, test my eyelid to see if it'll just go right in, which is what you want. You don't want to force it in because then you run the risk of either tearing your paper or you might actually um, just ruin your whole project. So just kind of test it as I did. I'm going to go ahead and punch it one more time. Test it again. Ah, cool. There we go. This go. We got it in. So now we're going to go ahead and set it. And that's a little bit easier because once it's in there, it's easier to set. Okay. So see how it finishes it? Like I said, you don't need it. I just like it. You don't ruin your ribbon and such. So now you want to go ahead and gather those two strips, kind of bring them together in a point as such and thread it through your eyelet. Okay. Now you want to grab the smaller of the two ribbons, which is actually going to be how you hang, what you're going to use to hang it from your tree. And I'm just going to knot it. I do one knot and then another one, and then I'm going to trim it. And I'll show you that. So go ahead and knot it once and knot it again as close as possible. Then gather those two tails together and then trim. And then you're just going to bring it to the back. So let me just kind of thread it. Oh, wait, no, the other way. <laughs> Sorry, here we go. So, so that that knot is in the back. To further secure it, what I like to do is bring um, the back tail and feed it through that loop or the front tail, either one, just so you have a knot on that loop. And then just knot it once and make a ribbon out of it. Let me switch the tails here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make my ribbon. And one more loop. And it's always kind of good to have more ribbon than not enough ribbon because then it's a pain, you're going to have to take the whole thing apart and start over. And then just trim your tails. Uh, don't waste a lot of ribbon, kind of eyeball a lot of things. So like I said, I think 18 inches for the longer one, 9 inches for the smaller one. But feel free, it depends on your tree, depends how much you want to hang. Maybe you don't want to hang it from a tree. Maybe you want to hang it from your mantle. So really it's up to you um, how you'd like to handle that. But just a nice little finish to that. And with that, we're done. What we're going to go ahead and work on next is the date. I found this little frames I've kept for such a long time. And I went ahead and used some Avery labels. Actually, I went ahead and hoping that my niece and nephew will still want me to take pictures of them all the way till they're 18 and be able to do these ornaments for them. And this is last year's, like I said, so my sister will be hanging them on her tree this year. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a picture of them soon and have their 2010 before they bring their Christmas trees down or the Christmas tree down. We'll see. Then trim that label. I like the see-through labels. It gives it a little clearer. I went ahead and just put it on there. I'm going to use my crop it out. Now again, we're going to not only go through plastic, we're going through metal. So I'm just doing it as hard as I can so that I can leave an impression, not only on the actual CD, but on the little metal um, label as well. Or, and I'll show you in a second. Just kind of aligning it again on the middle on the metal frame. Sorry. So that way I'm not like having to go through all those layers. I just left enough of an impression so that when I align it again, I know exactly where it is. Okay. So let me take this off. I went. I had gone ahead and put some double stick tape just so I knew where to punch and where it was so it would hold when I just made the impression of punching it. Took it off and now I'm going to add actually a little bit a little strip to the actual CD or the label. I'm sorry, I keep calling that where the frame is going to stick as such. Then I'm going to go ahead and use a brad. I got a little rhinestone brad to kind of hold it all together. And then just kind of separate the little legs on the other side of the brad. 
and with that you're done with the date. So that's it. That's your project. Isn't that fun? Quick, easy, and you can customize it, have it for as long as they want, ready to be hung on the tree. I mentioned earlier I made one for my nephew. This is his. I covered it with pattern paper, added the dates, um, and ribbon, and his little photo. Different color scheme, but still fun. I hope you give it a try and have fun making them.